the reason that you use a mortgage broker is not only to get the cheapest rate to but but to be able to ascertain whether it's truly the cheapest rate because within a mortgage scheme comes other mortgage costs which could be a valuation fee uh, could be a lender's fee um, which could be anything up to 1900 pounds uh, or more um, and then you've got solicitor costs on top so uh, the idea of a mortgage broker is to ascertain the overall cheapest cost not just the headline rate so what a mortgage broker will do for you is effectively firstly do a fact find um, and that gets all the relevant information up front to see whether or not firstly he can help you uh, in that they'll need to provide id um, uh, accounts or pay slips and again it's looking at whether or not he can actually help you because he'll know roughly uh, what you'll be able to borrow based on the information he's got at that stage um, from there uh, you would then do uh, an illustration or, or find a lender and then he produces an illustration uh, and then he'll run through the illustration with you to make sure that you're happy uh, with that particular lender and, and, and the illustration uh, from there, uh, you then do what they call a decision in principle. So you do a small application uh, with the lender um, and that basically uh, does a credit check. So it, it, it checks you out from a financial point of view. Uh, after that, if that's successful, you'll then go through and do a full uh, mortgage application. Um, and then at the end of that process, if there's a lender's fee, at that point, you'll then have to pay uh, you know, the lender fee. Uh, from there, um, the lender then looks at the uh, application and it goes to an underwriter. An underwriter will look at it and assess whether he needs any more information. Usually they'll at least do a valuation uh, to make sure that the property uh, is, is at the value that you say uh, that it is. Uh, from there, um, they'll produce a, a mortgage offer letter uh, which then is your proof that, um, that the lender is happy with everything and they're prepared to, uh, to lend you the money. The solicitors are then involved. Uh, they do work for both the lender and for yourself uh, to the point of uh, completion and then the lender releases the money. The way in which we uh, produce an illustration uh, is really putting in the relevant factors that I've picked up from you uh, based on the fact find. So it's things like uh, the term, um, whether or not you want a, a fixed rate mortgage, uh, or whether you want a tracker, um, and uh, whether you want to pay any application fees and things like that. So that you put an, an, a, a, a bits of information in uh, the software, which then produces a list. And then once it's produced a list, I can then rearrange the list to show which is the cheapest based on the overall cost, not just selecting a lender because it's the cheapest rate. The benefits of using uh, a mortgage broker, uh, and especially if you find one that doesn't charge you uh, any fees, uh, is that he's taking all um, the worry out of finding the right lender out of your hands. Uh, because going back to the interest rates, it's easy for you to do a search and just go for the cheapest interest rate. You wouldn't really know whether it was overall the cheapest because you wouldn't at that stage know whether there were solicitor's costs, valuation costs, lender's application fees. In addition to that, uh, the mortgage broker takes all the paperwork, paperwork away from you, you know, by collating that all and providing that to, to the lender um, himself. The information that you would need uh, from a customer, uh, firstly, from a compliance point of view, is that you would need things like uh, a passport, uh, utility bills uh, and bank statements. Uh, in addition to that, to prove income, you would then need P60s, last three months pay slips. Uh, if you're self-employed, um, you would need SA302s or accounts. Um, and then you would need uh, utility bills to justify or to confirm that you live at, at your current address. Do you need a face-to-face -face meeting? The answer to that really is no, uh, unless you uh, are, uh, require to, uh, to have a face-to-face -face meeting. Uh, with technology nowadays, everything can be done via uh, emails uh, or over the telephone.